Hello. Welcome to this presentation of the InterCAD Translation Expert for SOLIDWORKS. Let's start by showing the process of localization. We do this very simply by selecting our location in the bottom right-hand corner of the SOLIDWORKS screen. Now that we've localized our drawing, we can preview the translation in any language. The Translation Expert Preview shows that at the moment only some annotations have been translated. If we want to extend the translation, Translation Expert allows us to include other items such as the feature tree and use additional dictionaries and even ask Google to translate words and phrases that the other dictionaries fail to translate. Now we see that all annotations and feature tree names have been translated. That completes the localization of the drawing. It's a one-off process. It doesn't need to be redone each time. Let's send the file to our partner. Let's say our partner is in China, although he could be anywhere. The file was dispatched still in English. But when the file is opened by the user in China, Translation Expert automatically translates it into that language. To the user, the SOLIDWORKS drawing behaves as normal. It can be edited in the user's local language, just as any other drawing. The user saves it and returns it to the originator. When the SOLIDWORKS user in the English-speaking locale opens a drawing, the translation expert automatically translates it back into English. Translation Expert remembers the last locale. This allows the user to switch back to inspect the drawing in its previous language. The arrangement of the flags on the screen shows the current locale placed in front of the previous locale. Now let's look at a part file that we've received from another user. This user hasn't localized the part before sending it to us. The user simply selects their own locale using the flag control. Translation Expert then translates the part file and its feature tree. 